Thank you, Grant. Speaking of the weather, people across the upstate are reporting damage from those, storm, those storms that Grant had mentioned. 7 News reporter Elise Devlin has a look at the areas impacted. This weekend's cold front and heavy rain brought down power lines and trees, leaving upstate residents without power or internet. I heard a boom and then I went outside and I saw the tree fall. Uh, that is because uh, I thought it was lightning and then I came outside. Many watched as the storm took over parts of the upstate, including Greenville, where Duke Energy reported over a thousand customers were without power Friday night. Those who live in that area reported incidents like this one, where a fallen tree took down a power line and landed on a resident's car along Pine Street near Alice Street. Other residents in Spartanburg experienced the same issue, like this resident who came outside to see a tree branch through their windshield. While some say the damage was frustrating, they were grateful for the crews who were quick to respond. They were out here very quickly. It was super impressive and uh, the response has been great. Now we just need the power to come back on when they're done reconnecting it. More trees fell overnight in Anderson, like this one on Botany Slopes Road. Those who live nearby say they are still without internet, hoping it comes back on before Easter. Others work remote and say they're worried the internet won't be on before Monday. In Anderson, Elise Devlin, 7 News.